Hi everyone and welcome back to another Common Tennis video. In today's video I've got the Prince Phantom 93P to review for you guys. And this one right here is the 18 by 20 string pattern version of the racket. And this is the first time I've ever played with a Prince racket so I was really excited to take this one out on the court and try it out and see what Prince has to offer in terms of their tennis rackets. Now this one right here comes in two string patterns. It comes in the 14 by 18 string pattern which is super unusual and one I wanted to try but unfortunately it wasn't available for test. But what I do have here is the 18 by 20 string pattern version. So we got the dense string pattern, which is gonna offer a ton of that control. Now, before we get into the review of the Prince Phantom 93P, I just wanted to say a couple things. So first off, I wanted to thank everybody who subscribed to this channel. You guys have helped me reach the biggest goal that I've had for this channel, which was to reach a thousand subscribers. And now we're there, we've been past a thousand subscribers. And I can't thank you guys enough. I appreciate every single one of you that watches these videos. And I appreciate every single one of you that also smashes that like button down below. You guys are the reason this channel is growing and doing so well. And I hope that you guys continue to enjoy watching this content. I'll do my best to keep improving the content for you guys and keep the good videos coming. Now, I didn't post a video last week. I just wanted to take one week to kind of celebrate the moment and celebrate reaching that huge goal of 1,000 subscribers. But from here on out, we're back to the regular upload schedule of every Sunday. So I hope you guys are gonna stick around. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like button on this video so we can help this channel grow even further. Next up, I also wanted to share a little extra news with you guys. I also became an ambassador for Top Court. Now, some of you guys have probably already seen a bunch of their advertisements on Instagram. I want to tell you guys they are the real deal. And if you guys want to check out Top Court for free for two weeks, use the link in my description. Now, after you guys check out Top Court, make sure you guys come back. Let me know what you guys think about what Top Court has to offer. All right, guys, with all that being said, let's get into this review of the Phantom Pro 93P 18 by 20. So as you guys know, before we get into some gameplay footage with the Prince 93P, we're gonna talk about the specs and I'll give you guys a rundown of the numbers so you guys have a better idea about how it's actually gonna perform on court. And I'm gonna throw the specs on the screen for you guys right here. All right guys, so just going over some of the specs of this racket, some key things to know about this is that this is a mid-size racket, meaning it does have a smaller head shape than what you're usually gonna see on the market right now. So most rackets that are selling are usually between a 98 to 100 square inch, that's a popular head size, but this one really kicks it old school with the 93 square inch head size. Now this might be a small head size for some people. I used to love hitting with 93 square inch rackets. Even one of my favorite rackets of all time was the K-Blade Tour, and that one was a 93, so I was super excited when I saw this. A little throwback to the early 2000s with some of those rackets I was hitting with at that time. Length, standard, 27 inches. And now strong weight, this racket is a little bit on the hefty side. We see that the strong weight here is coming in at 12.2 ounces or 345 grams. So this one definitely carries some heft through the ball, which I really appreciate on my swings. And if you're somebody who likes that extra plow through, this is definitely gonna deliver that with the weight. Now the strong balance of this racket is nine points headlight. So definitely carrying a lot of the weight in the handle and that's gonna cause it to swing quickly through the ball because it is so headlight. The racket comes through the ball very quickly, and this is something that I was anticipating before I stepped onto the court that was gonna help me out with the maneuverability of this racket. Swing weight, 330, which is pretty standard for what we see with this weight of this racket as well. Flex is coming in at 61, which does make it pretty comfortable to play with. It's not as stiff as some of the Babolats like the Pure Drive that I reviewed earlier. So this one was quite comfortable to hit with and I appreciated that. And as you guys can see by the numbers here, 20, 18 and 16 millimeters, this is a pretty thin frame. And that's also another factor that helps with the maneuverability of this racket. And the final piece here that I really want to touch on is the string pattern of this racket. So this is an 18 by 20 string pattern. And when you pair that 18 by 20 string pattern with a small 93 square inch head size, this racket I knew was gonna deliver a ton of control. I was just hoping it wasn't gonna feel like a board to hit with. But I'll show you guys in the clip what this racket was like on court and how the ball flies off of this racket. So I hope you guys enjoy the clip and I'll tell you guys a little bit more of my first impressions with the Prince 93P throughout the play test. Make sure you guys stick around after the gameplay footage where I'm gonna go over my mic score of this racket where I'm gonna give it a score out of 10 in six different categories including styling, power, control, maneuverability, feel, and the cool factor of this racket. And then I'm gonna give it a total mic score out of 60, and I'll show you guys how it compares to all the other rackets that I've reviewed so far on this channel. I'll see you guys after the gameplay. Just going over some of my initial impressions hitting with this Prince 93P. One thing that I really liked is I really appreciated the styling of this racket, so I thought it has a really cool look on court. You really don't see many of these Prince rackets around the tennis club anymore, so it was really cool to take it out. And a lot of the players I was running into were commenting on the fact that I was hitting with the Prince racket. They were kind of surprised to see it back out on the court. 
And I was happy to tell them that I was really enjoying hitting with it. So hopefully, you know, there might be a little bit more of a resurgence of the Prince brand because it's definitely one that used to have a lot of hype behind it and a lot of praise behind it, definitely in the 90s and the early 2000s. And they kind of dropped off since. So I'm hoping that, you know, they can come back and keep some of that competition within the racket market. The racket also looks really great in this combination of the black with the, gr with the bright green accents on it definitely stands out on court when you see it next to other rackets or when you see it hitting some tennis balls on court it really stands out and pops especially off of these blue courts that we have here at my local club now the way that this racket actually hits on court is something i was familiar with because i actually played with the k-blade tour which i talked about earlier which is also a 93 square inch racket with an 18 by 20 string pattern and that used to be my favorite racket and it still is one of my favorite rackets so i knew that this prince 93p 18 by 20 was definitely going to be something that i would enjoy hitting with and I was not disappointed. I found that it had a ton of control and like I was saying going over the specs, you know that 93 square inch with the dense string pattern, both of those things just lend themselves very well to control. And the other thing I was really enjoying on the court with this is the maneuverability of the racket. So it has a thin beam so it feels great when you're up at net and you're holding the throat of the racket. It feels very easy to maneuver, not just because of the thin beam, but also because of that headlight balance that it has. It just feels like you can swing this racket super quick so you can get some decent amount of power just through that racket head speed, but then you get that ton of control with that small head size and the string pattern. I found that this racket just helped my game so much and it's definitely one that I really enjoyed hitting with. Now my friend Andrew, who I'm hitting with in this video, he uses the Yonex V-Core Pro and that's one of the heavier rackets. I wanted to see what he thought of this racket because this one kind of has a similar heft, but I kind of know what his racket plays like because I played with it as well. And I know that this one offered a lot more control. So I was curious to see what he would think of this Prince racket. And when I gave it to him and got his feedback, he absolutely loved it. And I knew he would because of that weight and plow through is just something that I know he would appreciate and something that I appreciated on court. It just felt like the racket was buttery smooth moving through that ball and felt very stable because of the weight. And it's something that felt great on court. And he actually said it's a racket that he, he would consider switching to away from his Yonex V-Core Pro, a racket that he's hit with for a long time. That's some very big and positive feedback coming from Andrew on this racket. Now the standout features of this racket are definitely the control, the maneuverability, as well as the stability of this racket. I found that it really shines in all of those categories and it was really a pleasure hitting with this racket. I feel like Prince doesn't get enough credit with some of these rackets that they're coming out with, especially this Prince Phantom Pro 93P. It's definitely one worth checking out. And I'm really curious to see what it's gonna hit with in the 14 by 18 string pattern, a little bit more open. So I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on that one for a future review for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed that clip and seeing what this racket actually performs like on court. I'm gonna be going over the mic score of this racket with you guys, starting off with the first category of the mic score, which is styling. Some really nice features of this racket are this black exposed carbon fiber look, which kind of makes me think of like a sports car kind of look or a high-end exotic car with the exposed carbon fiber. You can see kind of the, the patterns of the folds within the frame itself right here. And I think it looks really great. Gives it a very clean and sharp look, especially when that carbon black is paired with this bright green of the Prince logos all around. And a small detail that you don't really notice on rackets, but I really appreciate within this racket is I think that actually their logo on the butt cap here actually looks really clean. It's just a small detail, but it's something that I really like. And I think it looks great on this racket here. And I think that also if you pair this rack with an all black string or that bright green Solinko Hyper G, I think that this might be the best looking rack you can find on the court. But as it stands right now, and I'm not really considering the strings in the styling here, I'm gonna give the Prince Phantom an eight out of 10 in styling. Next up guys is the power of this racket. So you guys know that this is a smaller head size racket, so that's gonna take away from some of the power potential as well as this dense string pattern does not lend itself well to power. What I found was that the headlight balance of this racket really allowed you to take some quick swings at the ball get a lot of racket head speed coming through it and paired with the weight, it actually provided a pretty decent amount of power. So I was surprised. I was thinking that I might be sinking the ball short into the court a lot with this, but that's not what I was finding. I found that with that racket head speed and the plow through that it offered, I got some pretty decent power that kind of negated some of the effects of that small head size and really dense string pattern. So for the power of this racket, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Next up is the control of this racket. You guys already know that this is gonna be an absolute control beast because of this super dense string pattern that we talked about earlier. Paired with the stability that this racket offers with the weight, as well as this really small head size, just keeps the ball so precise and it goes exactly where you want it to. It's like a laser beam coming off of this racket. And for those reasons, this racket is getting a nine out of 10 for control. Next up is the maneuverability of this racket. Because of that headlight balance, and the thinner beam, it makes it really lend itself well to maneuverability, especially around the net. I loved it. 
for the volleys. Sometimes it could feel a little bit heavy, especially if you're catching that ball a little bit late. But as long as you're timing the ball well, I found that this racket had excellent maneuverability. And for those reasons, I'm gonna give the Prince Phantom a nine out of 10 for the maneuverability. Next up is the feel of the racket. One thing I was worried about with this super dense string pattern and the small head size, I was afraid that it might feel like hitting with a wooden plank, but luckily that was not the case. I found that I was very connected to the ball, even with the dense string pattern here, strung at 52 pounds. I found that it was still pocketing the ball well. I got excellent feel from all shots, including the serve, the volleys. I was just feeling really connected. It felt really precise on all the shots. I felt like I knew exactly what was happening with the ball and I got a lot of feedback from the racket, but all in a positive way, nothing that was really sending shockwaves through my arm, like some of the stiffer rackets out there. I felt all the connectivity that I wanted with the ball. And so for those reasons, I'm gonna give this Prince racket a nine out of 10 for feel. And now the final piece of the mic score is the cool factor of the racket. And what I consider in the cool factor is how this racket stacks up against all other rackets. And what are some of the features that might make it stand out when you compare it to other rackets? So first of all, one thing that I really appreciate is, is just the brand of Prince itself. I I find that it's something that you don't see much on court. I find that it brings a, a lot of nostalgia factor for people who played in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, when Prince was really one of the dominant racket companies, but you don't see them as much anymore. So it's really cool to see it out on court. I found that a lot of people wanted to come up and talk to me a little bit and they wanted to come talk to me about the brand and they were just, it just sparked a lot of conversations on the court and that's something that I like. I like to talk to people about tennis rackets. I like to talk to people on the court about tennis rackets and tennis gear and this was something that actually sparked those conversations within the club and something that I appreciated and I think adds to the cool factor of this racket. Not only that, but I think that this racket here is a great step forward for Prince and hopefully it's a racket that can bring some more awareness to the brand because it is such a great racket. And the final piece here that I think adds adds to the cool factor of this racket is the fact that it's so unusual from all the other rackets out there. It's really in a category of itself. You don't see many mid-size rackets and you definitely don't see mid-size rackets with 18 by 20 string patterns. So there's not many rackets like this out on the market and I think that definitely adds to the cool factor. It's a very unique racket and something that I was pleasantly surprised to take out on the court. So I'm gonna give this racket an eight out of 10 for the cool factor. When we put all those scores together, we can give this Prince Phantom 93P the total mic score of 50 out of 60. And I'll show you guys how that compares to all the other rackets I've reviewed on the channel right here. So as you guys can see, this racket's got one of the highest scores on the channel and it's for good reason, it's a great racket. So I hope that you guys get a chance to try this racket out. If you guys see this racket at your pro shop, give it a try, demo this racket. I promise you guys, you won't be disappointed if you try out this Phantom Pro 93P 18 by 20. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I would also love to know what you guys think of the Prince brand. I'd love to have that discussion with you guys in the comments below. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. It really helps these videos get promoted on YouTube and helps the channel grow. And also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos that will be coming out every Sunday. All right, guys, that's it for today. Take care and I'll see you next Sunday.